My name is Lindsay Meredith. I'm a freelance designer. I specialize in logo design, custom lettering, and illustration. I'm putting together this video to kind of show my uh, custom lettering process, specifically showing you how I did the script in this Viking mascot logo. So as you can see here, I start with pencil sketch. Um, that's a big part of my process. I always start in the sketch phase with plain old pencil and paper, start with some rough sketches, refine with tracing paper, and then once I get it in a really good refined place, I put it in the bottom layer uh, and lock that up in Illustrator. And then as you see here, I just kind of start with a stroke with no fill. That way I can uh, see what I'm doing. I probably should add that I'm drawing on a layer above my sketch layer that's locked. Um, but point placement is really big when it comes to working these curves. There is kind of a strategy behind it, but sometimes you just kind of got to fill the things out. I find that um, placing the points, um, like I'm doing here at what I call the valleys and the peaks, seem to work best. Um, keeping points kind of adjacent from each other. So I'm clicking and dragging, and when you click and drag, you pull out those handlebars. And the further you pull out the handlebars kind of dictates the, the kind of curvature the next click is going to create. You can always go back and adjust, hold down option to... Um, that helps you move each handlebar individually. I'm building the V in two different pieces. I do that with a lot of letters, as you'll see, that kind of helps me have more control for adjustments down the road. I'm always zooming in, especially on ends, uh, little details. Take advantage of that when you can, and uh, just zoom in and get things real perfect and just move those points and, and handlebars around. So right now I'm just going to kind of speed things up and let you watch my process. So right here, I borrowed um, a section of the eye and brought it over. I haven't done it quite yet. There we go. And uh, yeah, so I borrowed that piece. Uh, it's obviously, it will save you time, but also, um, most importantly, it brings consistency to the shapes of the of the letters, especially for a uh, script like this that has a uh, that angle going on. And then obviously, if you had um, repeated letters, you could take advantage of that as well. So at this point I'm finishing up the initial outline of all the letters and uh, the next step is going to be filling them all in with black using the pathfinder to knock out the uh, the counters of uh, the K and the G and then once I do that I just kind of step back and look at everything once it's filled in black like that because that uh, being filled in black like this really reveals any inconsistencies imperfections or uh, line weight issues so at this point I'm just kind of going all over the place zooming in and out, looking, making adjustments, um, trying to make the line weight more even and consistent. I feel like I have major ADHD when I do this. I don't, there's no rhyme or reason. I just, something catches my eyes off. I go in and I adjust. Thankfully, Illustrator makes it nice and easy. The biggest flaw I found with this was that the S, the angle was just way off. And as you'll see here, the way I go about adjusting it is actually kind of painful and, and not really the most uh, efficient way to do it. Um, I just kind of started tweaking the points around and, you know, manipulating them a lot to get it in the shape. And I got it there. Again, it's just one lot or no big deal, but it wasn't really the absolute best way to do it. So finishing up here, just a little bit more fine tuning, really zooming in and getting things perfect. Obviously, when um, I finished the Viking head and integrated the two as planned, there was more tweaking. And the Viking head's the same process, sketch, um, lots of refining. This one I actually inked a little bit and then uh, brought it into Illustrator. And here's just kind of a peek at the very beginning stages of Illustrator. And here's the final piece put together. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about what I do, please visit link-creative.com. There you can see more of my logo design and custom lettering. See ya.